Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of our house renovation project. So today we will do some work you have to do maybe 80% of your time if you're working on a private construction site and this is to clean up the whole space. Yeah. So in the last days and weeks I definitely messed up uh, a lot of uh, yeah, places here on my construction site and today I definitely need to clean it up. And then I also cut down some electrical cables the last time I also need to repair today. So I would say sit back and enjoy the video. And we are starting with the work or the action. You will do more or less 70 to 80 percent of your time on your private construction site as this means take care of garbage. Yeah, In this case a lot of stones I removed from the building in the last days and weeks. Um, from the corner, from the inside shell of uh, the wall and whatever. And uh, yeah, thankfully I got the tractor with the front loader from my father-in-law, which helps me a lot. Also the trailer you can see in the background. This also helps a lot. It can carry around six tons of material and this is more or less the perfect fit here for this for this uh, site and um, yeah as you can see there's a, a lot of stuff yeah some old bricks and also some concrete and whatever everything we had here in the last days and weeks and yeah yeah okay so let's see how we get it on the trailer Okay, now we are ready on the outside, but this does not mean we are ready on the inside. So if you remember my last video, um, this was the teardown of the wall. You can see now the rest here, <laughs> everything. And uh, yeah, this also needs to be put on the tractor trailer. And of course, I need to do this with my simple wheelbarrow, uh, with a shovel and with more or less the bar hands.
Yeah, and thankfully this was more or less the last uh, load of wheelbarrow. So now I can put also the rest on the trailer and that's it for the moment. So of course we will have to do a lot of more, but for the moment this was it with the rubble. And this means I can, I would say I can take care about myself and take a little coffee break. And at this point I want to thank everybody who is watching my videos and maybe also enjoying it, uh, leaving comments or maybe also likes. I really appreciate it and would say thank you very much everybody. <clears throat> yeah, and then we can move on with the next working package. So during the work on the ceiling I demolished an electrical cable. Um, I simply cut it through and yeah, put it more or less together again. Uh, but now I want to make it properly. So just for your information, I am an electrician and also an electrical engineer. So uh, from my point of view, I am allowed to do this kind of work. But I want to say that uh, normally you're not allowed to working on some electrical stuff like this here if you do not have the proper education. Yeah? So please be careful if you try this by yourself. And I would say do not do this by yourself, <laughs> of course. Here we have the result. So now the cable is more or less prepared for eternity. Here will never ever happen anything again. Um, yeah, except you maybe cut it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we will see. Um, then I need to tidy up the rest here of the rubbish from the ground because I want to work on the ceiling again, removing the plates and removing the rest of the stones you see on the right side of the picture um, yeah, to get completely rid of the wall because yeah, I need to go to the ceiling again.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and that was it for today. Cleaning up your construction site is something you have to do, and it's always the same. You gotta do what you got to do, yeah? And yeah, cleaning is something you have to do. And um, yeah, so in the next week we will start with one of the most important and long-term milestones here, which means we need to remove the inner shell of the framework. And this is really something interesting. So um, I would say this we will see in the next video. And for today, I would say thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Maybe you can also leave me a comment or a like if you wish and um, yeah, then I would say thank you very much for watching and bye bye.